nonprofit is struggling to make ends meet after its two vehicles broke down. As a result, the Grant County Unified Community Resource Council is finding it extremely difficult to pick up donations for its food pantry and other services. Claire Kreitz spoke to those in charge, and Claire, donations are really what they rely on. That's right, Donna and Kevin. They have to pick up all their food and other donations from across the state. But right now, one of their vans won't even turn on, and the other, well, it's basically a toss-up on whether it will make it across town. You can see half of our shelves are empty. Surviving on donations and relying on four wheels to get them. The Grant County Unified Community Resource Council is heading for trouble. This one is dead where it sits. This nonprofit serves the community in several different ways, from a women's shelter to providing discounted clothing and a food pantry. Both vans are fully functioning. I'd have five freezers that were full up. These vans are used daily to pick up donations from across the county and even in Little Rock. But when they don't work, I can't get any food. I can't get any pickups. We're just stranded. Their newest van is completely out of commission. The other? The transmission that keeps throwing a code will not let us sh shift gears. It has to be taken to the mechanic at least three times a week, and that doesn't even include the other issues. Our door is falling apart. One windshield wiper. <laughs> So, yeah, it's falling apart. Serving 200 households a month, 400 per year, they're struggling to keep the shelves fully stocked. I get people that come in, they've had house fires, they need emergency food. While they haven't had to turn anyone away yet, if they don't get the cash to get both vans back out on the streets full time. And that's what really scares me. Is it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. Is having to tell 200 families that I don't have their food this month because I could not go get it. The nonprofit is asking for donations to help get their vans fixed. They've already raised $1,500. To learn how you can help, you can visit our website, fox16.com. Back to you. All right, Claire, thank you.